What is going on, happy people? Today is going to be an amazing day. I got stuff rolling around in the truck. I just went to, check this out. You guys want to see something really cool? I just went to 7-Eleven and they had strawberry cupcakes. I would never eat that. That's just not something that I would eat. But Sarah would do a back handspring down the middle of oncoming traffic to eat that. So that's going to be a little, little surprise for her this afternoon. Now it is uh, 7.02 a.m. and we're going fishing. We got some top water. We got a Rapala. Got a little flat bill crankbait. We got a uh, culprit 10 inch red shad worm. And we got a rattle trap. If you can't catch a bass on that, you should break your fishing poles and start a new hobby. Here we are on the 10th fairway, set up beautifully. Just a short wedge into the green. Ha, let's go fishing. I cannot believe I'm not getting pounded right now. There he is. Got him. Nailed it. That's what it's all about. Small fish, but it's a good way to break the day, break the ice. When you're in a spot and you know there are fish there, just keep just keep using new lures until you figure out what they want. Little pounder, yearling bass. I have a feeling. I got a feeling. Watch this. I'll show y'all the secret weapon. I know nowadays everyone talks about the trick worm, the finesse worm, this worm, that worm, blah, blah, worm. Dude, that right there is a fish catching machine. 10 inch culprit, red shad. I'm gonna put it on him right now. Dude, there's a big bass on a bed right here. Dude, don't move. There's a big one right here. Got her. Look at that. Yeah. I literally walked up here and saw her sitting on that bed. Look at that. Four pounder. Nice. She was sitting right on that bed. I'm gonna put her back in her water. She'll literally go right back. You can see the bed right there. How cool is that? Here we go. Here we go. Got him. What a nice fish, y'all. I have a good feeling about this cast, y'all.
Oh, there he is, right there. Dude. Oh, it's a, it's a cichlid. Like, what are you doing? You think this is your leg? Negative, Ghost Rider. Awesome fish. Pretty guy. You're about to straighten my hook out. Golly, this looks good. Oh, here's a big bed. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, how freaking cool is this? Literally, see the bed, pitch it in there, and catch them. Ooh, look at the bass on the surface out here. Film right here. Oh, he just ate it. Got him. I literally saw him swimming across the surface. That's crazy. Nice chunk. Big in. It's all about the bite, you guys. It is all about getting the bite. What a great way to start the day. Got up this morning, came out here fishing, just having a good time like I was a kid and didn't have a care in the world. I don't know how many bass we've caught, but it's a bunch. Using, that's the best bait of the day. Red shad, 10 inch culprit worm. We got a lot more to do, but we're done fishing for now. All right, you guys, so fishing was a humongous success. They have no no idea we're coming by, but I need uh, like this. I don't know. I need something. We're trying to replant some of our other lilies. I need what's is it? What do you call the stuff that you put inside? So I want to put rock, then that stuff, lilies, fertilizer, more rock. What's the Water stuff in the middle? Substrate. So it's a clay base. Yep. Okay. Yep. I need some of that. You got it. Got 10 pound bags and 20 pound bags. Got it. I got it. Beauty. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Are right, you guys? Koi Smart's awesome. Check them out. This is going to be so stinking cool. But this time, it's going to be even better. On the bottom, I want to do... Biologically alive substrate. This is what we want to plant our our lily pads in. I had one that I planted over there the other day. It's still growing, but it popped up and floated to the surface, which means it's going to die. I'm going to make it a happy little home right in the center here. About that much. 
our little fertilizer tablets. I want to put a few of them right there, like five. Then here's the lily I was talking about. Right there. See how it, it wants to grow, just doesn't have anything to attach itself to. Yeah. Now, we're gonna stick that just like that. Take another one of these, because I want this to fill up the whole thing. last time. Sand. Oh, man. You never knew you were getting planted into like the little heaven home. Basically, if you're a lily pad, this, this is heaven. Doesn't get much better than this. We've got plenty of room now if fish want to come in here and bed. And there's also plenty of that substrate so it can start taking root. There's fertilizer under there. The fertilizer won't leach out into the pond and this can create so much habitat. Whew, now it's probably gonna weigh about 500 pounds. Hold on, just let it fill up with water slowly because I don't want the sand to go everywhere. Okay, hold on. Okay, let it just fill up the water. All right, everybody. It looks great down there. So stoked. The swim pond. My backyard is coming to life. We've got big night blooming lilies. We've got wild lilies. We've got some crazy purple lilies from, from uh, Koi Smart. We've got tons of plants. I just got this papyrus. The fish are happy. And it's, it's coming to life as an actual ecosystem. So that's all I've got for you today. But this afternoon, me, Sarah, the girls, and Big John, we're heading down to the Keys. We're gonna be fishing with a great friend of mine, Jason Gabriel. We call him JT. Phenomenal guy. We're going to be chasing Permit and Cobia. Guarantee you it's going to be a catch, clean, and cook. That's up next. Take care. God bless. We go.